Hey everyone, so I'm in a uh, 2011 Genesis Coupe and it, my driver's side window stopped working. You can see it's partially cracked. And when I go to press it, oh, it kind of works, but it's not happy. So I'm thinking it's a regulator. It seems to be a common problem. I just bought one on Amazon. It was about 160 bucks. Uh, so let's hope that this is the problem <laughs> and uh, There's not a whole lot of documentation online. So just stay patient with me as I try and figure this out All right, so I've now removed the uh, door panel here and the piece that I ordered was this uh, Whole guy here, so I'm gonna go along take off these bolts and uh, See what we get and also have to take off the motor here with the star screw if you can see it so, let's go ahead and do that. All right, so to take out the window, I'm pretty sure we have to unscrew uh, some bolts here and here, except the window won't go down because it's obviously broken. So I'm gonna try taking off the motor first and see if I can manually get it down. We'll see how that goes. So just took off the motor, and you can see a whole bunch of wire inside that I don't think was supposed to be there. So I have a feeling that's what caused my problem. So with the motor out, we were able to push the uh, window down and now can see the two bolts that we need to remove to get the window out from the holding. All right, so pulled the glass out. Beware there's this thing, so it might make it a little tough when you finish pulling the glass out, but uh, now the glass isn't hindering this anymore and we can take out all the bolts pulling out the regulator. Taking a look, this is the new one. As you can see, the cord is nice and tight all the way along. This is what I just pulled out. Regulator, obviously very screwed up. All oh, just kinds of problems, so glad to have this out of here. So we've now put on the new regulator, attached all the bolts on the outside perimeter. These are 10 millimeters. Um, and we have these holes lined up. And now we need to drop the window back in. So now that you've got the window back in, you want to put the two bolts in, and then you want to try out having uh, the door plugged in. So you just need to attach these two wires and drive in the motor again, and you should have a functioning window. Uh, finally, you'll need to adjust it. As you can see, mine's a little off here, so I'm gonna have to adjust it. And I've got access here, so. Anyway, good luck with your project, and uh, hope it all goes well.